Hello everyone, my name is Chelsea. I'm a Crafty Companion. It's Monday morning on the 28th of December 2020 and this is my floss tube. If you don't know what floss tube is, it's a YouTube about cross stitch and sometimes other things, but not this week. Um, a lot has happened. Christmas happened, so I'm hoping that you had a good Christmas or Kwanzaa or Hanukkah or any of the other holiday things. I'm uninformed about many of them. Um, Yuletide, we had a Yule party that we skipped because we weren't feeling very well and we didn't want to risk anybody getting sick at all, even if it's, you know, just a cold or anything like that. We just, we, we skipped it. Um, I had finishes. I had a fully finish um, and some new starts and a lot of plans for 2021, which is going to start before my next floss tube. So... This is my sloth. He is my crafty companion for today. I did have a honey, but she didn't want to hang out. So let's just dive right in. Let's go straight for the finish. Okay. Okay. I finished it and I changed the last block. Like I said, I was going to. So this is the 2020 um, Halloween style by Stigonomy. It was supposed to be done in October. It wasn't. Um, for an obvious reason. This is a ring kind of inspired by my wedding rings. Um, so here's my wedding rings. They're uh, sapphire and rubies. And so I made a sapphire and ruby wedding ring in the last block of the month. So this is done and it will be getting framed. I've asked my husband if he will help me find an iron. <laughs> So I can frame it because uh, because I'm putting in a frame. I'm not doing um, a fully finished, like, I'm not putting it on a sticky board thing. I'm, like, actually framing this. So I need an iron. Did I say fiancé? I meant husband. I don't know what I'm doing today. I'm trying to rush because I'm tired. That's why. Um, so that's a finish. Uh, this was bought as a kit off of Etsy. I know you can still... Honey is here and she's decided to randomly eat things off the floor. Are you good? You good? No? Okay. Um, then I have a fully finish. So I bought this frame off of Hot from Hobby Lobby. And by the time that I went to work, got home, it was broken in like 17 places. So I tried to fix it the best I could. And then I painted it silver because there's definitely words on it and in some lights you can see them. So I hope that you guys can understand, but I am really, really proud. It's my first fully finished item ever. And it is the monthly sampler by Country Cottage Needleworks. I just painted this silver. You can actually see words if the shadow is good enough um, right here. But you, when it's hanging on a wall, you just can't see it at all. That silver's too silver. Um, I put this bow here because I actually made a mistake, which you can still see. Um, it got, yep. So, uh, I put a little bow here with a really like nice little rainbow button. And then I put a little tie up here just to make it kind of seem symmetrical. But there's that. That is my first fully finished. This hangs up actually by our thermostat. Um, so... In the month, you know what time, what temperature you should put it at because it's cold right now. Um, our on Christmas Day, our heater broke, like our actual AC, like our entire heating system broke. Um, so that was fun. So the day after Christmas, we had to spend quite a bit of money to get it fixed. But luckily enough, like they were able to come out on the 26th. So that was good. I didn't even know it was broke. I woke up and I was sick. So I was overheating and it was just a mess. Uh, holidays, I always get sick. There's something about stress levels and then just, I, I get sick on holidays. It's a thing. Um, so I'm going to show you, I'm going to go just straight into, I can show you some of my haul. I can show you one of my haul things. This is a Christmas gift I got. Um, apparently she bought it at a Hobby Lobby, but it is just like, it looks like a little lipstick tube, but when you twist it up, it's like a little pin cushion. So I have my, uh, cross stitch needles in it. Uh, this is from Kayla. It's the person I'm doing the, um, I'm doing the animal crossing sal as well as the BTS catchphrases sal with her. Um, 
so she got me that. She also got me a Tata plushie from BT21 and some like, I don't know. I just, she's such a sweetheart. I love her. <laughs> she makes me happy. Well, I think, I think Honey got to my sloth because he has a little opening in his arm. It's okay. We'll stitch that up. Um, then I got some more mild liners from my bullet journal and then I got a new whip for a Christmas gift. Um, I kind of knew it was coming. Um, or at least I had an idea that it might be coming, but I never got to see it when I saw it. I was so excited that it was real and that I had it. So, ee! um, very excited. So I have two whips. I'll explain. So this is my bullet journal. It's kind of haphazard when it gets in the holidays. Like it just suddenly starts looking crazy. There are days like weeks where it looks nice and put together. But when I have no time, it looks like this. Um, so because I filmed on Monday, I have no idea if I showed you two of my whips because I did them that day too. Um, so the first one is the linen and threads. Uh, 2020 mystery sampler. I finished January. It's going to be put away until February um, because I'm going to keep up with it 2020 as if it was, or yeah, as if it was 2021. Um, so this is going away. I'm not going to work on it for a month and I'm kind of happy about it. I'm kind of happy to have a break. Then, and I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know if I showed this one or not. I finished the Rose Farm Border for Rose Farm by Shannon Christine. If you guys ever want to talk to Shannon Christine, join the Midnight Stitchers because sometimes she joins. Um, it's been really nice to actually talk to her. And I know somebody on, I think it was Cross Stitch Unlimited, was having a problem with placement of these. So if you guys want to ask questions or anything, we sometimes have meetings that start at like 6 p.m. instead of midnight uh, Central Standard Time. But here it is. This is what it looks like. I had a yearly goal. So this is another yearly goal I have completed. Um, it's probably the last one I've completed. And this is the completed border. Oh. I, I need one of those things that you can like, a piece of like foam board to put behind it. But here you go. I've completed that and I cannot wait to actually get started. I'm going to start with the truck just because I have the two tires here and work over until I get bored and go down to these. And then I'm going to save that quilt for last because it was the whole reason I wanted to do this stitch. Um, but she and Christine is such a sweetheart. Um, some people said, so there was a post in a cross stitch group. I think it was cross stitch unlimited, um, where somebody was like, I really like Shannon Christine's designs. And somebody replied with meh. First of all, unnecessary. Don't do that. Um, second of all, it just, that's just a shitty thing to say. It doesn't matter who it's about. Just if you've got nothing nice to say, say nothing at all. Personal opinion, but mine nonetheless. Um, what else? Oh, she has a new pattern out too that has a bunch of snowflakes. And if you join the Midnight Stitchers group, you'll hear about how much I hate snowflakes. <laughs> so those are the two that happened on Monday that I'm not sure if I showed you or not. So there you go. Then on to something I did get a little bit of work on. I was hoping I was going to be able to finish this by the end of the year, but that's not going to happen. This is Floral Aurora by DM Cross Stitch, I believe. Yep, DM Cross Stitch on Etsy. I've drawn on this, I'm sorry, but that's the full image. I will print out another one one day. And this is how far I have made it. So I'm down here. This is actually kind of showing you. This is a uh, flash of thing. Um, where I'm at. So it's going to go down to about here, but most of this is empty because of her dress. So I've got this and then the entire other half, but most of her is on this side. So there's that. I I think it's really pretty. I don't see the flowers as much um, in real life. On camera, you see them really well. So I'm hoping that maybe if I put it in a shadow box, I'll be able to pick it up a bit more. But on camera, those flowers show up so well. Maybe it's because I'm always sitting in really bright light 
it's possible. So I worked on that. Then I picked up, I didn't get a lot of stitching done this week, by the way. Um, uh, I picked up my peppermint purple because I am determined to finish this by the end of the year. I have three days left uh, to finish down to my gold line, which is the big bar. So I got this block, this block, and half of this block done since the last time you've seen it. And yes, I know there's some black stitches falling out here. It's because this is the first project I ever actually worked on, um, I ever got. So I didn't know how to stitch and now I do. So I'm going to be able to fix that. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, so I finished these two and I just need to finish that block, this block, and then do that block. And then I am done with my yearly goal on that. And that will be considered a finish for me. <laughs> I'm still going to finish the project, just not this year, obviously. Uh, what's next? Do, 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 do. Then I have the Christmas gift I got. And the Christmas gift I got was Gamer Nouveau by, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, Medusa Doll Maker. Uh, it's from Gecko Rouge. It was a full kit. And I did it. And uh, she got me 28 count, one over one. And it is stunning I love it I wasn't supposed to know I got this um but I did see a package on Andy's floor that said Gecko Rouge so I kept it to myself and I stayed happy when I saw it so I'm so happy I have it now so I've been working on it I got 800 stitches in I believe because 500 the first day 300 the second and that's how far I got you can see some of the stars in the background there and I am doing diagonal but I'm not parking, at least not as of yet. Um, I'm staying pretty much just like get through it, cut it, it'll be fine. Only because it's a kit and they don't give you the DMC numbers. So I don't want to risk it. I want to make sure I do it right. But at least it's one over one and they give you 30% extra. So because I do do a bit of extreme cross stitch, with this so far it hasn't mattered. Um, I'm glad that they give you a little bit extra and they do seem nice enough to tell you what the DMC is for five of them I believe if you run out but it'll be a while before that ever happens um this also is in the worst bag so I'm gonna be making it a bag this week because I just have it in one of my plastic cheap bags from Amazon um and this this project's big enough it deserves a bag so ignore the packaging I can't close it Then some new starts. I have the Snarky Sal, which is a mandala from Snarky and Modern Embroidery Stitch Group on Facebook. I've barely started it and I'm only going to flash. This is week two. This is what it's looking like right now. But I've only just started it. I'm using variegated floss for all of it. This is, this is the top. So it's going to face this way. This is barely a start, but it's a pretty small stitch in the first place. It goes like this. And this is on 28 count even weave. I'm staring at it, trying to figure out if it actually is 28 count. I believe so. Yes. If not, it's a 25 count. Um, I might measure it once I get to that number across. Just to see what it is so I can write it down. Because I, I didn't write it down. That was intelligent on me. These also don't have a bag. Also intelligent on me. Um, very excited. So these are some, these are the colors I'm using. I got this one. So I'm using color 48 by Hand Dye by Rolanda. I am using Ocean Reef by Stitchy Stuff. This 
then Flamingo Dance by Stitchy Stuff. Cotton Candy by Stitchy Stuff. Songbird by Stitchy Stuff. And Overload. And this one's my favorite. This is my favorite uh, variegated that you can get. There you go, and that's Overload. So that's everything I'm doing. I'm kind of doing it in a rainbow, so that was actually the absolute worst order I could have done that in. But I think it's going to look really, really pretty, nonetheless. That is for the snarky cell from S and M embroidery on Facebook. Then I started, uh, I will show you it very quickly and very far away. So you can't copy it and I'm going to cover part of it. So it's let the good times be gin. Um, don't copy this. That's the only photo I have of it. I started it with two colors that weren't actually in it because I was trying to change it because I didn't have the colors. But I think it's too dark that you can't see that one's lighter than the other, really. So I'm going to rip those out and restart it. That only took me like 15 minutes max. Um, so I'm not too worried. This is on a 14 count that I got from the box of goodies that I got from the lady last week. So I'm very excited to have that. Then I can show you... I'm not even done with the first letter yet, but I am making a piece for the intro to this floss tube. Hey, that's one of my ball pointing needles. Um, <laughs> so far, all I have is most of the A. It's going to say a crafty companion. I just made it with a text generator. I might not have even made it with a text generator. I might have just use the text option in my wind stitch. Um, but very excited to have that. That is on a 28 count, so I actually think the other one is 25 count. Um, 28 count even weave. And I'm using a rainbow of colors. So we will see how that looks. It's a little bit more muted of a rainbow of colors. But it is a rainbow nonetheless, and that's what matters to me. None of those actually have bags. They have just been kind of sitting in a pile in my stitchy table. So I can just reach for them, grab them, do a couple stitches, pull away. Um, then I guess we're on to things that are happening this week, next week, etc. And there is quite a bit because... Whipgo numbers were released and I have a new bullet journal to show you for 2021. So I will kind of run you through what I have so far. That was about appropriate. Yep. Okay. I'll just move those out of the way so they don't fall again. So for 2021, I haven't worked on my index yet, so I'm going to just skip right past that. Baby. All right, first is my yearly stitch tracker. Basically, I just put an X every single day of stitch. Top row is the month. These are all the dates. Put an X where you stitch. Um, then I have my master project list where I list every single project I have in cross stitch. And then I have plenty of space for extras because I get a lot of gifts. I also have a lot of patterns already. I just don't have them kitted up. I might have the floss and the fabric, but I don't have them all together. So they're not on the list. And so if I ever want to start something, I can. Then I have my list of yearly goals. I haven't fully completed it because sometimes as I go throughout the year, I will add more. So if I'm working on, so if I pick up a project and I put a stitch in and I'm like, I could probably finish this by the year, I'll put it on the list. But so far, this is what I have. You guys want to know a lot of it is like um the first one is 30,000 Donna Victory stitches. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but it's a goal. Um complete a whip go row, complete the whip go board, uh don't buy anything. Uh complete my temperature tree. 
etc. Then I have a line for yearly finishes. I will not complete that whole line, but I will at least get 12. This is my Get Enabled page for when I watch Floss Tube and uh, on like my Facebook groups. If anybody posts something I really, really want, I'll write it down because at the end of the year, for every two cross stitch patterns I get done, I get to buy one, if I so wish. Then Whipco, there's my Whipco board. Uh, these three were called, so six, 13, and 18, if you haven't heard yet. And there's my January layout. There are two birthdays in the Midnight Stitches group, so we have two challenges coming up this month. The first one is uh, a piece that I put away the longest, and the next one is my favorite piece. So I'm very excited for the favorite one. <laughs> Generally, if I put something away for the longest, it means I don't like working on it. Um, so here is my monthly like goal sheet is this page. So this is my Whipgo, the three that I've chosen. Then I have my goals for the month, my finishes for the month, and some shopping lists. So if I need a DMC, I'll write it here. So whenever I go to the store, I generally have this in my bag. I can pull it out and say, here's the things that I needed. Um, then on my weekly page, because this is a weird one, my weekly is laid out a bit strangely, but I still write down when I don't work. And at the bottom, if there's anything with squares, that means that that piece of the salve comes out that day. So the first, which is Friday, um, I have the Magic Kingdom and Nerdy Cross Stitch Salve both coming out. Then the pieces that I've chosen for my whip go. So the first is an Etsy pattern. So I'm doing Honey by Lola Lada, which is also my whip for, uh, not a whip, but it's gonna be a new start for the Midnight Stitcher Sal. So it kind of double teams and does two things at once. So I do have a piece of fabric. I think it's 14 count. It's this big. I have all the floss I need for it. And, oh, it does have an image. It's really small though. Um, I will bring it up. So that is the image that's Honey by Lola Lada on Etsy. I just lost my bullet journal to the uh, edge of the world. How sweet. There we go. Is this on 14 count? Yeah, it's on 14 count Ada. Um, and it's for the Midnight Stitcher Sal. Apparently, the stitcher's name is Sheriffalina Veronica. Something like that. I'm sure I pronounced that absolutely wrong. I apologize. Then for my freebie, which I get to stitch whatever I'd like. And the goal is to stitch for 10 hours. If I'm at work, I just stitch for 20 because I don't fully work work on stitching at work. Because if somebody comes up to the desk, I have to, you know, help them. So I chose to work on my test stitch which is a BTS design. I can't show you the image because my uh, pattern actually doesn't come with one. Um, but I did ask the designer if I could talk about it and show you guys my progress as I work on it. And they said yes. So I'm gonna be doing a BTS test stitch. It has the BTS logo and it has like little, uh, like animated looking uh, pixely BTS members in their boxes. Um, the pattern that they have doesn't have any black work or anything like that. It's all just full cross. But I did ask, once I finish it and send her the photos, can I do black work after and like touch it up a little bit and maybe put some like stars and stuff? They said absolutely. And so I will be doing that. Um, then my least amount of colors, which is the 18th, is my Zimmerman coverlet by Modern Folk Embroidery, which has one color. So that seemed to be the most appropriate one to work on. And I will be putting 10 hours into this as well. This is how far I am currently. Mind you, this is the full thing. I'm doing the only one repeat. So I'm only doing this top part. Um, I'm not doing the rest of it, so. And where I've kind of highlighted is where I've worked. So there you go. This is hand dyed and it is 20. What are you? Are you 28 count or 25 count? 
it's probably 25 count. Actually, this was Jublin, and this was for, this is, I think this is 28 count. Um, and it's one over one, and I'm using DMC nine. And so far, I love it. It's so pretty. Um, I finished that flower, so I'm going to be moving on to the next one. If not, I'm going to be working on the, like, stars that's up here. So, it'll be the next flower the star that's up here. Um, don't really want to show you that. I can show you it on this, though. So, this next piece or the star. Very excited to be working on that. I really enjoy working on the Zimmerman coverlet. I just enjoy working with uh, a single color for a bit. And I also enjoy the fabric and the pattern. It's just pretty. And the last thing I can show you is my temperature typography, which I will be starting on the first. I will work on it every single day this year. So hopefully you will have an update every single week this year on it. This is from Stitch and Mommy. It is called Temperature Typography. I'm considering this a sell because Stitch and Mommy is also doing it, as are a, quite a few people who wanted to do a temperature tree type thing. And a lot of people are still doing the temperature tree from this last year or the temperature garden. Whatever you're doing, I'm considering it a sell. If you're doing a temperature thing, we're doing a sell. Congratulations, you're in the sell. Um, and I just love Stitch and Mommy. She's such a sweetheart. She's so nice to me. <laughs> she 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 says encouraging things on my Instagram. Oh, I did not mean to kick you. And then I kind of wanted to Oh, I just put that in the wrong place. I wanted to show off cuz I don't know if I have the fabric that I dyed for the Magic Kingdom style since I'll be working on it this week. I hand dyed it and then it was the weirdest dyeing process I've ever done. It really was. So you can actually see it better with it getting light filtered through. Um, there's like speckles of dye and I know exactly why that is. And I think I'm going to try and do a repeat of it. Um, I used, I used a regular dyeing process with my red dye and got it to a pinky orangey cast. And then with blue and violet, I used powder dye and like tossed it on and then rinsed it off immediately. Like immediately because that stuff goes quick. Um, and so it's spread, but you also get these little speckle dots that I love. And I don't know how much it's going to show through on the Magic Kingdom cell, but I know I love it so far. This is, I said 28. I actually think this is a 32 count. I think this might be 32 count linen, um, Belfast. There we go. <laughs> I need to zigzag stitch it. So, uh, don't let me forget. Then another thing that I don't think I showed you, I finally got all the colors for it. This is winter coziness by Lunar Fox stitch. Um, it's barely started. But it is started. This is the one that you... Oh, I also... Did I hand dye this? No. This must be a uh, Coffee Craft Fabrics piece. Um, if you finish the first half of it that you get for free, they'll send you the second half um, for free as well. So I have that. I have Winter Coziness. And I bought a few more patterns, but I haven't started them yet, so I'm not going to talk about them. <laughs> I've, I don't know if I have intentions of starting them. I did get some kits, which should be over there, but I don't see them, which worries me. But I do have some kits that I got, but they're going into my Stitch Mania pile. Yeah, I don't know where I put those, actually. I should be concerned, but I'm not. Did I put them in here? No. Um, I think I talked about them last time. Uh, they're a ladybug, a ladybug, and some lanterns. So you'll see them when they come out. I do have my uh, wheel spins as well for Stitch Mania. So I have everything set up for Stitch Mania. 
Um, I've determined Wei Wuxian is not in it because I'm going hard on Wei Wuxian. He comes with me to work so I can work on some of that white. I didn't this week because I didn't get a lot of stitching done and I didn't work all that much actually. Um, I have a good coworker who helped me out a lot this week so I could spend holidays with Andy and family and just be happy. So what else happened? I don't know. I feel like I'm missing something big. I got some new mod liners. I got, oh, I bought, for whatever reason, it's gone now. I don't know where it went. For whatever reason, from everything cross stitch, I bought a bunch of 22 count hardanger. And, oh, I didn't tell you the, what the good time speech in is for my cross stitch pen pal. I also have an Eddie Izzard cross stitch pen pal for next month because it's her birthday, but it's quite big. So I don't know if I'm going to get it done. Um, so I have to kind of peruse and see if there's some smaller things I can get done too instead. And then what else? I know there's something I'm going crazy. I have no idea. I feel like I do this every week where I'm like, there's something else I was supposed to say and I didn't write it down. So I have no idea what it was. Um, did I show you guys it? I don't think I did. So I'm going to flash back in here just to make sure. So you guys saw the weird weekly spread. I'm showing you what my weekly spreads are for the next two weeks after that. So I have another salad dropping with those two days. I have one dropping this day because Animal Crossing. And then there's the birthday. So you'll see a little star for birthdays. And that's how I do my weeklies. My goals are in the last block. So I will write my weekly goals the first day that I go in. So... Uh, if you're wondering what my weekly goals are this week, I have work on the BTS test stitch, uh, stitch something that makes me happy. So I'm going to be doing something that makes me happy. Probably the Zimmerman cover lip because I enjoy it. Um, read two chapters of Modazushi because I'm running behind. My friend is so far ahead of me. They're like 40 chapters ahead. So I have to catch up. Um, and they're on vacation. So they're going to read so much. Then I'm going to work on Honey and the Zimmerman Coverless House. So actually, I need to make that stitch something that makes you happy something else. What makes me happy up there? I'm going to work on Animal Crossing. Because I like going over too now. So I'm going to work on Animal Crossing. That'll be fun. Um, get me down to where January starts before January actually starts. We'll see. We'll figure out what happens. I just know that I made my goals a little bit looser this month because my uh, monthly goal, or this week I mean, my monthly goal is to keep up with all of my cells and I'm already behind on them. So we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. I got some more BTS dolls. So you see the ones in the package up there. I got a whole set that aren't, so I'm using them as elf on the shelf. Um, so I'm just hiding them around my house. And I didn't get any cro crochet or knitting in this week. I really, really want to. But with all these cells, I don't know how much I'm going to get done this year. Um, we'll see how I go with doing the cells for the first couple months. And I'll be able to give you a more accurate estimate on how much I'll be able to get done. I'm still working on organizing my craft room. It's still quite a bit messy, especially those parts that you can't see. Um... And I need to still organize all my floss. So we'll see how much I get done this week. I feel like I have to be in a certain mood to organize and clean. And lately I have been in a very childlike mood and that does not include cleaning. So I think that's everything. I do have more stuff in the mail. But I cannot remember what I'm forgetting. Oh well. All right, guys, I hope you have a good day. I'm sorry that this is weird and that I'm always awkward. <laughs> but join the Midnight Stitchers if you guys want it too. And it has, it's mostly we start at definitely uh, 12 a.m. Central Standard Time, midnight, um, Monday nights and Wednesday nights. And then on occasion, we start really early. And on occasion, we do other nights, which seems to be almost every single night lately. So if you guys have any intention of wanting to have like a stitchy Zoom meeting, where most of us just kind of stare at our paper and like listen to other people talk, come join. 
Um, feel free to show off your whips and stuff like that. And we're doing the sal for Lola Lada. So if you guys want to do a sal with us, just join and keep us updated on the work that you do. I'll be starting honey this week. So you'll be seeing that very soon. Um, I am counting today, which is Monday before the 2021. Um, I'm counting this as 2021. I'm going to get started on a bunch of stuff and have fun. So my weekly bag is going to change. Oh, I did get that. I can show you it. This is my new stitchy bag. Um, for those of you who don't know who BTS are, this isn't going to make sense to you, but it is a pride flag bag. This is a cup of tea with sugar and a cookie. And that is super cute. This is my stitchy bag. A lot of this is getting pulled out because I'm not going to be finishing well any more of my yearly goals, except maybe peppermint purple. So I'm sorry, crinkles. And I'm sorry to the rest of the yearly goals that I didn't meet. I apologize. Um, yeah, that's basically everything guys. I'm sorry. This is, have a good day. Have a good new year's. Um, what are your new year's plans? Tell me below. All right. Bye.